My name is Lisa Charles, I'm the Community Investment Manager for Braun Avon Community Housing. We have recently teamed up with SPS Envirowall and some of our other key partners such as Community Spurs, Careers Wales, Job Centre Plus and WEA to pilot a new way of working and engaging our young people who are currently furthest from the labour market. Our new programme is very exciting um, and it's been designed by young people themselves, Trade That Works. We have teamed up with a youth facility in Blind Avon, the Neon, which has um, given us the opportunity to um, redevelop, renovate their facility so that young people are actually designing and doing the work on the youth facility themselves. The young people we have with us at the moment will be with us for the next 10 weeks and they will be leaving us with uh, qualifications in team skills, employability skills and a CSCS card which is really desirable for when our young people meet with employers and have the opportunity to look to move into work. Hi, I'm Bianca, I currently work for Brunabon with the Aspire project and I'm currently overseeing the Trade That Works programme. We currently work with the NEON and we're actually refurbing um, the youth club as, as we speak. Um, we're doing new kitchen, tiling, painting the walls, everything really. Over the next 10 weeks, the guys are looking to develop their basic skills in their trades and construction, that kind of thing. Um, also, they'll be developing OCN, so that'll make them obviously a lot more attractive to the employers. My expectations of the course is to get my CSCS card and a load of certificates for my CV and hopefully get a job at the end of it. Basically starting the course was just for confidence building, uh, learn some new skills, get some sort of qualifications. Get a qualification at the end of it, I need to have experience more than anything. I need to get a better job than what I've got at the moment. We obviously gained experience with obviously using different materials as in tying in different sort of joints and obviously gained a CSCS card and obviously general knowledge and all that. Um, getting hands on with the construction of the three in the neon um, and just getting the experience. Um, the, the theory part of it. Um, I really have a good understanding of the practical side. Uh, I worked in hardware for about six years. I sold all the tools. I know quite a lot about the building trade and so on. More practical, yeah. That's obviously classroom, more obviously hands on. I work for Brunavon and it's an apprentice at the moment. It's only a 12 month contract. So I'm worrying at the end of this 12 month contract. Is it going to end? So I'm going to try and get as many qualifications and experience as I possibly can. My name is Dan Macy. I'm the Regional Manager for SPS Envorowall, leading manufacturers within the external wall insulation market. We've partnered with Bron Avon to deliver the Trade That Works programme. This involves both practical and financial support as we're really keen to inspire and upskill young people through hands-on learning within our Cardiff training facility. We're hoping that this will provide them with the basic skills and an open an opportunity to introduce them into employment through a range of our recommended contractors within the trade. I've done a bit of construction before I built my friend's house in Nguyen with them to get a bit of experience, but other than that, no. I've done a construction type of course in school, which is going from school to a college in Newport, which is doing like bricklaying and carpentry. No, I've never done any course like this before, it's the first time, but obviously previously I've worked for Network Rail, so obviously I've had a bit of experience removing sleepers and obviously the balance and changing track. Um, man handling, um, how to budget and all different stuff, um, health and safety, CSCS, trainer, 
Well, obviously it's CSCS card, manual handling, obviously we're going to be doing our asbestos awareness, we better take it for that, so pretty much got quite a good knowledge on the call. And what about the practical side? The practical side is pretty good, learning new things, different skills, the right way and the correct way obviously to do things. Yeah, I have gained, I have gained qualifications. Um, I'm starting to gain a bit of confidence myself. I think the course is going pretty well. Getting getting uh, more information than what we expected, and getting qualifications in like health and safety and manual handling and, and stuff like that. And getting a CSCS card, which I passed the test on. So it's just waiting to see what other qualifications we can get throughout this course. I've been out of work for a long time, five years, so it has helped my confidence. Um, I am more ready for work after doing the course. Loads. I've come out of my shell. I've got more self-confidence now. Talking to the boys and that. I didn't have nothing next to no self-confidence in my head. When I got to know the boys, we just have that and a joke. We just get on the go sometimes. Yeah. It's made me understand how difficult the trade is and that I just want to be in it more and more, basically. <laughs> the opportunity. <laughs> I just go back. So you actually just you just introduced yourself. There's more and more pressure on people to uh, build up their skills, compete for jobs uh, and a pressure on people to, to retain jobs too. So we wanted to make employability an absolutely key part of our work and when we reviewed our corporate plan a couple of years ago to, to identify our priorities, very much around skills and jobs were absolutely critical uh, priorities for us. Thank you.
cost of approximately 8 cents. Um, in the last two years, there's a reserve of salt.